Does your child have difficulty sleeping alone at night? Do you have to lie next to them in bed to help them fall asleep? Are they sleeping in your bed all night? In this video, I'm going to describe a simple trick for getting your kid to sleep in their own bed alone. I'm Ellie Leibowitz from the Yale Child Study Center and the developer of SPACE, a new evidence-based treatment for childhood anxiety and related disorders. But the trick I'm describing today doesn't have to be part of a big therapy. It's a simple solution you can do on your own. When children who have had difficulty sleeping alone are finally able to do it, they often feel really proud of themselves. Sleeping on your own just feels like independence and maturity. It can also mean you're able to have friends sleep over without feeling embarrassed, or to go to sleep at a friend's house without that late night call to come pick me up. And for parents, well, having your own bed back to yourselves can be a huge deal. So whether you find yourself having to sleep in your child's bed, or your own bed feels crowded because your child is there every night, you can give this method a try. I call this trick the game, because what you're going to be doing is playing a very simple game each night. You could explain it to your child like this. We're going to be putting on a show, like theater. We're the actors, and there's an imaginary audience watching. Our job in this show is to convince the audience that you're going to be sleeping alone in your bed at night. But, and this is a big but, you're not. In fact, you're going to sleep with me just like every other night. Nothing changes, except we're going to fool the audience for a little while into thinking that you'll be sleeping alone. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to set the stage. We have to make sure your bed looks like a bed that a child would sleep in. If there are things all over it because you haven't slept there in a while, let's clear those things away and put on some nice fresh sheets. Maybe even get a new set of linen to make it look really good. Then at bedtime, you're going to get ready for bed. You'll brush your teeth, you'll put on your pajamas, and you'll get into bed. I'm going to come and say goodnight to you and give you a hug and a kiss, and then I'm going to walk out so that the audience watching thinks, here's a kid who's going to sleep on their own. But remember, you don't have to sleep on your own at all. And that's because I'm only going to walk out for a really short time. And then I'm going to come back in, I'm going to say, game over. And once I do that, we're going to go to sleep together just like every other night. Now, parents, you can ask your child how long they think they can keep up the game, meaning how long can you walk out of the room for? Aim for just a short time, somewhere between three and ten minutes. If your child says they can be okay with five minutes, you could say, great, you know what, let's just do four minutes. That way, we can be sure it won't be too long for them to feel safe and comfortable. Now, here is the most important thing. If you told your child you would come back after four minutes, make it a point to be back after exactly four minutes. We want your child to learn that they can trust you to come back exactly when you said. That way, they won't be feeling worried, and soon they'll be able to stop watching the clock on their own. Once the time is up, come back, say game over, give your child a hug, and let them sleep exactly as they have every previous night. And the next night, you're going to do the exact same thing again, and again the next night. And the only thing that's going to change is that every few nights, say once or twice a week, you're going to inch up slowly on the amount of time you leave for. So if you started with four minutes, then after a few nights you could go to five or six minutes, and then eight minutes, and then ten minutes, and so on. Now. Once you're doing it for about 15 minutes, something magical might happen. Your child might fall asleep while you're out of the room. This actually happens really frequently, and for a simple reason. Your child is comfortable, they're calm, they're tired, and they're not anxious. They're calm because they know they don't need to stay alone all night, and that you're coming right back. When a child is comfortable, calm, and reasonably tired, they fall asleep. 
When your child falls asleep for that first time, don't wake them up. Let them sleep as long as they do. And if they do wake up later and come looking for you, that's fine. The game is over, and they did a great job. When your child sleeps through the night for the first time, don't throw a huge party and announce that from now on they can sleep alone. In fact, don't make too big a deal out of it at all. You can tell them, cool, that's awesome. You slept on your own last night. And then you keep the game going just like before. In fact, I would recommend not going up on the amount of time you leave for on the night right after your child slept alone for that first time. Let them know that everything stays the same and the game continues. Once your child has been sleeping alone for a lot of nights in a row, you'll be able to start forgetting about the game. And both you and your child will realize you don't need it anymore. And that's it. You'll have helped your child overcome one of the most common issues facing children, in particular anxious children, and their parents. And you'll have done it with no argument, no criticism, no blaming, and no shaming. We've used this game with hundreds and hundreds of children and families and had wonderful results. So I encourage you to give it a try. If you want to learn more about SPACE, Supportive Parenting for Anxious Childhood Emotions, a parent-based treatment for childhood anxiety and obsessive compulsive problems, then visit spacetreatment.net and check out the resources section for lots of articles, videos, podcasts, and books. You can also find a list of therapists who trained in space and can help you with your child. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for other videos on parenting anxious children and adolescents. Thank you, and have a great day.